Yo right guys, this is Cobb. I had a few requests for a keybinding guide, so I thought I'd go ahead and make one. And But one thing I want to say straight away before we even get into this, that keybinds are completely up to you. I'm going to be making a lot of recommendations, but your binds are all about what you feel comfortable with. I, for one, play like a weirdo using the arrow keys and the number pad on the right hand side of my keyboard. Now I wouldn't recommend this to anyone, it's just how I learned, it's what I'm comfortable with. And I think it's a pretty good example that the way you keybind and the way you play are really down to what suits you, but that aside, I do feel there are some general points to think about when setting your keybinds, whether you're an experienced binder or a new binder trying to move away from clicking. So first off, movement keybinds, these are just as, if not sometimes more important than ability keybinds, you can see here that I have move forward and backward set to my up and down arrow keys, which would likely be W and S if you play on the left side of your keyboard. These are okay to be left as they are, but you can unbind your move backward key and use the key for an ability instead. And I should probably do this myself. There really is not a scenario in which backpedaling is useful unless you are a PvE tank, but it is optional. You can leave your keys here as they are. Next up, I've unbound my 10 left and 10 right keys. I've instead set my left and right arrows to strafe keys again. If this was on the left side of the keyboard, I'd be unbinding A and D from the 10 left and right and setting them to the strafe keys. So right here, I'm going to rebind my 10 left and 10 right keys. Uh, just to get this point across, it's horribly slow to turn like this. If a melee sees you turning with your keyboard like this, they are very, very likely just going to run around you in a circle. You just won't be able to keep up with them and it's going to be a nightmare. Now contrasting this with turning your character with your mouse, it is just a billion times faster. It's infinitely more responsive. You can spin your character in a 360 revolution 20 times before someone using the turning keybinds can perform one rotation. Quickly rebinding the strafe commands to my left and right keys, I'm able to control my character as smoothly as I like. I can easily kite away using the strafe keys while adjusting the camera and steering with my mouse left and right click. I really don't know that there's any better way to move about than this and it's not too hard to learn either so I'd 100% recommend doing it if you're finding yourself stuck in the old keyboard turning habits that you want to move away from. As for binding abilities, things get a lot less concrete. There is no solidly right way to do this. It really just depends on what suits you. Especially if you're used to clicking your spells, you need to stick only to what absolutely feels comfortable. If a bind feels very unnatural to try and hit, the most it should be used for is a low priority ability, like creating a hellstone uh, for a warlock or buffs or something like that. Uh, something that just isn't often used under pressure. For me, there are three general categories of spells to be keybound, and those are high priority, medium priority or situational, and low priority. High priority spells are the ones that you use the most and need to be able to use quickly, and these are things like Incinerate, Conflagrate, Shadow Fury, Chaos Bolt, and Immolate. And these are some of Destruction's most used and valuable abilities. I play using the arrow keys, so for these spells, I use binds such as number pad 0, 1, and 7, the delete key, and page down. A player using the left side of the keyboard might assign these high priority spells to things like E, R, F, or 3. If you are completely new to keybinding, it is spells like these that you're going to be spamming a lot and that you should bind first, but you're set to fairly easy keybinds, and because you're using the abilities so often, you're going to get used to them a lot quicker. Medium priority or situational spells are for me things like defensive and offensive cooldowns and abilities like Howl of Terror, Havoc, and Case of Weakness that aren't my go to offensive spells but can be very, very strong in certain encounters, and these binds don't need to be the best in the world but I should still be able to hit them without any hesitation when I need to. Again, playing nearby the number pad, I might use keys like page up, hashtag the apostrophe key, and as well as things like shift and page down. If you're playing on the left side of your keyboard, these could be things like G, T, or 4 and 5. You really do want all of these abilities keybound if you can, and it's really, really going to enhance your gameplay to be able to immediately put a case of weakness on a Death Knight's Gargoyle, for example. Uh, but if you're only just learning to keybind, don't rush to keybind this kind of spell. Just focus on learning to be quick with your high priority binds before gradually working on these. And finally, really, really quick low priority spells are just that. Um, these are your mount, uh, summoning a pet, your buffs, your infernal 10 minute cooldown. Um, anything that is barely ever needed during combat or is on a massive cooldown is not a key binding priority. I have my buffs set to my home key, which isn't a very fluent thing for me to reach on my keyboard, and my pet summon is set to number pad 5 and stuff like that. You don't really have to bind spells like these at all. It will almost never hinder your gameplay if you don't, but if you feel like you can, then just go ahead and do it. One final thing I want to touch on is bar swapping. Now there are a billion spells uh, in World of Warcraft. To keybind all of these, a lot of people like to set shift and control keybinds, and I've set a few shift binds myself. I was never a huge fan of control binds, so to make sure I have all of my abilities bound, I use bar swapping, and this gives me access to 
to a second action bar. To do this, I go into key bindings and bind previous action bar to shift up arrow, then use that bind to swap between my main and second main bar. And just remember to do this, you really, really need to have all six action bars showing, uh, the two above your main bar and the two on the right of your screen. If you don't do this, you're gonna have six main action bars to swap through and it just makes things a hell of a lot messier. So it's definitely not the conventional method of playing, but I find it works out for me and it might help out some of you guys too. Um, so that's that. Anyhow, that is gonna be all for this key binding video. It is really more to help out anyone who's trying to learn to bind their abilities as it isn't an easy thing to do if you've been clicking for some time. And clicking is a tough habit to break, but breaking it will make you quicker and more free to focus on the action going on around you as well as improving your gameplay overall. So I do hope you enjoyed watching. I hope I could help out anyone learning or struggling with key bindings. Um, thanks for stopping by everyone and I'll catch you all in the next video.